Uh, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about ultraviolet C-range light so you can understand how this works and some of the processes where we think it will work even better for people. And I'm specific on dermatological applications. I'm going to be very specific to acne, uh, acne vulgaris, I believe is how it is, the uh, actual bacteria. And we also, there's a possibility of eczema, and the eczema application simply refers to those applications, I'm making a general statement here, where there is some bacterial overload that is causing the problem, how can you solve it using ultraviolet C-range? Now, up front, let me tell you, C-range is a specific wavelength of ultraviolet that is not the wavelength that gets to the earth. It is not the wavelength that you hear associated with cancer. Matter of fact, it's the opposite. Ultraviolet C-range has been shown to be non-carcinogenic, which means it does not cause cancer. And where the studies were based upon is they tried to create some type of carcinogenic activity, and it didn't work. So they came back. It's called the null hypothesis. They came back. UVC does not. So divorce from your mind the cancer issue on ultraviolet. One of the things that has happened with ultraviolet, this is, this is our V254 wound lamp. I will tell you right up front, it's only a four watt bulb, very little energy. One of the things that would happen historically is patients used to have systemic infections. All I'm referring to is rather than having on the surface of the skin one little area that has a bad bacterium, what's happening is it's all over the patient's body. Where we discovered this was with bed sores. Somebody would have a bed sore here. The safety of UVC, you got to, everything's balanced, positive, negative, everything balances. The safety of UVC is it can't penetrate. UVA and B, the sunshine rays, the carcinogenic rays, can penetrate. UVC cannot. So what you would do is you would start treating a bed sore. The very first thing they have to do is clean it out, get rid of any gels that were in there because UVC couldn't penetrate through it. You clean it out. Now, on the surface of the bed sore, what was actually going on is you had a collection of bacteria, and let's call it MRSA VRE, which are two of the very bad bacteria we have to deal with now. You would zap it, you take the little light, you put it an inch away, do it for about 60, 90 seconds at the most, and you killed everything. No hocus pocus, culture, it's dead. One of the things we would then do is we would press, and that's just to get any bacteria that was under the surface of the skin to come up to the top. Let's zap it again. It's killed. Culture it, it's fine. Problem was, people would say, but wait a minute. They have MRSA VRE systemically. It's all over their body. If you can't hit the bacteria there, can't help them. Yes, you can. Here's how the process works. The bacteria here, I'm just going to use it as an example, just to give a number for the purpose of the number comparison, not the specifics of the numbers. You have a bacterium here. You measure it, and it's 10 to the 10. That's the number of bacteria that's colonized there. You zap it, it's ended. What would happen is upon the second, third, fourth treatment, rather than 10 to the 10, it's, say, 10 to the 15. It had increased 50%. 50 percent. 50 percent might not be the right number. It had increased from 10 to the 10, 10 to the 15. What was going on is the system, the infection, the bacteria that was in the body it would go to the spot where there were no other bacteria. That was the easiest place to survive. So it would colonize that area. What we were really doing, then we would zap it. Now there's less total bacteria in the body, and what you're really doing is you're ridding the body of the bacteria. Now, our purpose is not ever to do 100% eradication. All we're trying to do is lower the bacterial load so that the person's own immune system can take over. We've got bacteria around us all the time. We do an excellent job of staying healthy because of what our immune system does. Now, here's the point. I, hopefully, I'll have an article out that you can go look on our website about this. One of the things that used to get me was we, would have, we used to have a, a, a shop where we sold a thing called tea tree oil. And we would have patients coming in, mothers coming in with, the, with their children that had bad cases of acne. And they would use a systemic drug. And the, the drug they used to use was Accutane, which was very expensive, but very bad side effects. And so they would have to stop. And one of the reasons they would have to stop is the kids were having hard times with it. But the source of why you were using 
this type of systemic thing was you had to get it into the bloodstream so that you could attack the bacteria that was under the surface layer. Well, what was actually going on, people would come and take tea tree oil, which is generally an uh, antibacterial agent anyway. We would have them rub it on their skin, and then technically it was not supposed to work. Why? Because it was only hitting the surface of the skin, not under the skin where other bacteria was. Well, my thought processes, and I'm not claiming any scientific basis here, my thought processes is the only thing that's going on here, what was going on there that made it efficacious, was they would kill the outs, you'd rinse your face, put the tea tree oil, the dermatological part, part on the outside of your skin, you kill the bacteria. What happens next? Remember the colonization in the bed sore? The bacteria that's under the surface of the skin causing the acne, it now comes to the surface of the skin. You do another tea tree treatment. What have you done? You've lowered the bacterial load. The immune system can now take over. And once it takes over, now you don't have acne problems. Taking that one step further, one of the, this lamp, the V254 wound lamp, is literally approved by the FDA for dermatological applications. Probably one of the best treatments you could possibly do for acne right now, and it doesn't harm the patient. That's the neat thing about it. You could actually take the unit, clean the face off. Remember, UVC cannot penetrate. So if you've got a bunch of oils on there, it can't penetrate. You clean the face off. After you've done that, you literally, and I'd put on a pair of glasses for the child, you would literally take the lamp, four watts, not much, gradually do this across the surface. What are you doing? You're killing the bacteria. You don't believe me? Culture it. You'll see it's true. Now, when you come back in a little while later, the bacteria, the actual acne bacteria itself, has migrated forward because Basic principle, simple principle. Every bacterium in the world is the same way. Colonization. It colonizes on the surface because it was completely clean. You zap it. What are you doing? You're reducing the bacterial load where the patient can go back, the immune system takes over, and acne is no longer a problem. Very few treatments is my suspicion. I was just reading about eczema, but where it said is also bacteria is a source of the problem. I'm just literally thinking one of the things to be aware of is where you have a bacterial source, take advantage of the colonization nature of bacteria, and use something simple that doesn't hurt the patient like ultraviolet C. You know, look forward to trying this. I did want to do this. One of the videos I wanted to do, because when you stop and you think this thing through, you know, you can make things complicated, you can make them simple, but you can also look at the physics of how our, how our body works, how bacteria works, how cells divide, so on and so forth. And basically taking those same principles, you should be able to achieve beneficial results and reduce acne, reduce ex eczema, by simply killing the bacterium. This is another way to do it. Thanks for watching. Happy to answer any questions. You can always get in touch with us. Just call us on our 800 number. You can also send me an email or go to our website, and that's www.medfax.com. And you can see that there at the bottom of the screen anyway. Mm -hmm.